Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how to keep your fan base engaged with your music after getting an initial site visit or a sale? Email campaigns are a great way to follow up with people interested in your music and keep them updated on any new products or things you have going on. Today I'm going to show you how to create an effective email campaign that actually gets click-throughs and helps you convert your streams and visits into sales. Before we set up an email campaign though, we're going to need an email list of contacts to be able to send it to. There are a few easy ways to build up a contact list that I'll show you right now. First, we'll just go ahead and make sure our MailChimp account is connected. So every time we collect an email, it'll go straight into our MailChimp account contact list. Now that that's set up, the easiest way to collect emails is to exchange them for free downloads on your Beats. So let's turn on free downloads in exchange for an email address right now. Free downloads are for not-for-profit use and don't come with a license agreement. So people who are interested in your music can still listen to and write to your beat. But if they ever want to record and release any music, they need to come back and actually purchase a license. A great way to increase the chance of them coming back to actually purchase a license is by following up with an email later on, which we'll go over in a little bit. Another great way to collect emails is by offering some type of incentive in a pop-up form on your pro page. When people visit your pro page to check out your music, you can set up a pop-up form that'll appear right when the page loads, reading any message you want. A strategy that I've noticed is really effective is offering free beats or a coupon code for a discount on their next purchase. This will really encourage people to make a purchase immediately and build trust from the customer because you're able to offer value to them right at the beginning of the relationship. You can configure these within your MailChimp account to automatically send as soon as people sign up. Let's go over to MailChimp to set that up right now. So what we're gonna do is create a welcome email. For this, I wanna bring in email expert Allison to show you the best practices to set up a welcome email. Hey guys, I'm Allison, the inbound marketing manager at BeatStars. Like Jamil said, I'll be showing you all how to set up your welcome email in MailChimp, along with tips and best practices to help increase your email open rates. First things first, why bother sending welcome emails? Well, welcome emails are proven to be way more engaging than any other marketing email. In fact, welcome emails have 86% higher open rates than other marketing emails, and 74% of new subscribers expect to receive a welcome email. Subscribers who receive welcome emails show 33% more long-term brand engagement than those who don't. If you'd like to retain your new customers and turn them into loyal, long-term clients, welcome emails can help with that. To get started, go to MailChimp and click Campaigns to the left of your screen. Click on Create Campaign in the top right hand corner and then click Email. Next, you're going to want to go to Automated and then go to Email Subscribers when they're tagged. Selecting this template will allow you to send a welcome email to a specific audience tag or contact list. Automating an email means that any time a new contact enters your list, an email will be triggered and sent to that new customer's inbox. Set up your campaign name, I'll call mine welcome email plus discount code, and then proceed to select your audience. On this next page, be sure to edit your trigger time and the audience tag that you would like the email to be sent to. I'm going to reset the delay to immediately and then send the emails to the subscription form tag. Once this is all set, you can click design email. First, we'll start with your email subject line. Your subject line is more important than you think and could ultimately make or break your email open rates and interactions. Your subject line should give a clear indication of what the email will be about, while the preview line should act as a window into what your email body will say. Keep your audience in mind when writing up your subject and your preview lines. So for this email subject line, I'm going to go ahead and put, welcome, take 20% off your beat purchase with an emoji at the end. And then for the preview line, I'm going to put, glad you're here. To prove it, here's a special deal for you. This will ultimately help entice the recipient to open the email and then actually utilize the code. And then next, you're gonna set up your from name and I'll use the producer name Beats by Stellar. And then after that, ensure your from email address is correct. Now we're gonna get into actually building out your email. So first you'll wanna select your template. I'm gonna start from scratch and use the basic one column layout and then once you go to this next section, this is where you'll actually design and then build out the email. Um, MailChimp's great because it has an easy to use drag and drop module and you can use that to kind of spice up your email design. Since this is a welcome email, we'll keep it simple and to the point. 
All right, so for starters, your logo should always be placed in your emails, ideally towards the top so that your reader has a clear idea of who the message is coming from. So what I'm gonna do is just simply upload my logo. And once that's processed, you can actually change your logo display size as needed. So if it's too big, you can reduce the size, or if it's too small, you can go ahead and maximize it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is upload an email header to kind of give the email a pop of color and a form of visual element. I went ahead and created this header in Canva using their email header template, and I made sure that the header's design reflects the style of Beats by Stellar's brand so that recipients have an idea of who he is and what they have to offer through visual components. Next, you'll want to fill in the copy of your email. Uh, you can go ahead and keep your copy short, sweet, and straight to the point. So for this email, I'll start off by thanking the reader for subscribing. Next, you should give your reader an idea of who you are, what you're about, and what you have to offer. And just remember that while you're building a professional brand, it's also important to be personable with your audience to remind them that there's a real person behind the screen. So, you know, be sure to include elements of your personality and personal touches. You should also give them a reason or a motive to continue to check back into your store or future emails. This is a great opportunity to drop your promo code along with any important release dates or information surrounding future deals. So for emphasis on this important text, I'm going to use MailChimp's box text feature to help draw my reader's attention to this area. This next one is super important. You're going to want to always include a call to action button in your emails to help draw your readers back to your website. This will ultimately help increase your site traffic and give your email a purpose. I'm going to go ahead and write use promo code Stellar20 for this emails button and link it back to my Beat store. Lastly, be sure to include your social media handles at the bottom of the email with MailChimp's drag and drop social follow section and plug your handles anytime you can. Uh, email's no exception to this. After that, click next, ensure your audience information and email triggers are correct, and then go ahead and start your send off. And there you have it, your first welcome email. Just be sure to continuously monitor your welcome email's performance and stats, and as you start sending more emails and learn more about your audience's behavior, you can better adjust your email subject, preview line, and even your copy and graphics to drive better results. Best of luck, and I hope this helps. So now we have a welcome email for customers who have yet to make a purchase. But what about people who have already purchased a beat from us? There's still marketing opportunities to turn these members of our audience from one-time sales into repeat customers. Let's set up an email for a section of our audience who have already purchased a beat from us. Let's go to create and create an email. We're going to select automated here so that every time we tag someone as a buyer, they'll receive this email. If someone purchases a beat from you on BeatStars, they'll automatically be tagged as sales. So that's one way to get them added to the tag. You can also always manually tag anyone in your audience too. In this menu here, we can set some conditions. For the trigger, we'll schedule this to send one day after we tag them as sales. Schedule will leave as it is. Now we'll segment it and we'll select contact as a member of segment or tag. We can also add a post send action if we want. Like if we want the tag to be removed after the email is sent, if that helps you organize your contacts better. I'm going to leave that blank. Okay, now let's actually design our email. Since these people have purchased from us, the content of this email is going to be different than what a welcome email would be. We can offer them supplemental things to a beat purchase, like a mixing and mastering service, maybe a discount on another purchase, links to similar beats to the ones they bought, or maybe just a friendly email thanking them for their purchase and letting them know you'd like to hear their completed project once it's released. There are a ton of different options you can choose from to assist your marketing efforts and build great relationships with your customers. Just fill out the rest of the fields using the same guidelines from the welcome email we built earlier. And now depending on whatever you've chosen to include in the email, you'll have a great follow-up email for your customers to hopefully build that relationship better and make them repeat customers. Thank you for watching this video. 
For more videos in the producer marketing playbook, make sure you subscribe to BeatStars.